Uh, so the group I'm in is the Big Data Group, and we've made a lot of progress this year. So we are creating a platform that translates and categorizes a bunch of different data from edX and HarvardX, which are online course providers, into a form that's usable by researchers. And so the programming on that side has gone really well. Uh, we're at a point now where the data is comprehensible to a researcher, so it's all pretty uniform, and there's just some debugging left to do there. Um, and on the policy side, we've made some great strides. So both edX and HarvardX have decided that a statute called the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, or FERPA, applies to them. And because FERPA applies, there are a whole bunch of requirements about privacy and how you use data that go along with, goes along with it. So when we release this translated, categorized data to the public, we have to go through a set of processes to make sure that it complies with the statute. That means we have to anonymize the data, which is a really difficult task because it's very difficult to actually de-identify anything these days. And our policy team uh, put together a memorandum outlining a procedure to anonymize the data. And this was taken up by edX and incorporated into one of their memos, which was given to 30 of their institutional partners like UT Austin, Columbia, and Stanford. And was also a key document um, at a December conference at Stanford on data. And at the conference uh, was the Department of Education and a bunch of different online course providers and educational institutions, and they concluded that we need to have a workshop to write the rules on how FERPA and online courses will interact. And what's really exciting is that a few members of our team are probably going to go to this workshop and give our input on how FERPA and online courses um, should deal with each other and what kind of privacy regulation should be imposed on these MOOC providers.